Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Julia Lopez. Here's what's happening now. A new Veterans Memorial five years in the making is taking shape in Holcomb. John Franklin has the story. Nine flags fly proudly in the Holcomb Area Veterans Memorial. And we, you know, early on had the idea that uh, this would be something that would really be in addition, addition to Holcomb that uh, would be appreciated by the veterans and the members of the community. One flag represents the United States. One flag represents Wisconsin. Six flags represent each of the six branches of service. And one flag honors those veterans who are prisoners of war or missing in action. To see these flags fly, finally flying over this memorial that these men have worked so tirelessly for five years to actually make it a reality. The flags get brought up every morning and retired every evening, but their first time flying over Holcomb was on November 4th. When we raised the flags last Saturday, we had Cub Scouts, we had military men working together to raise these flags, and I tell you, there wasn't a dry eye around. It was magnificent. The Holcomb Area Veterans Memorial is the first of its kind in the area, and its current state is only phase one of three. In upcoming phases, there will be landscaping done, a pavilion, a POW MIA media center, and even a meditation garden. We are building a veterans memorial, not a war memorial. To give your life for freedom is not the worst. Being forgotten is, and that's what this is about. We want to forget no one. We want everybody to be remembered. For News 18, I'm John Franklin. The Holcomb Area Veterans Memorial Committee has already raised more than $250,000, but still need donations to make their dream a reality. To learn more, click the link on WQW.com.